When the project was established in 2015 by eight women, it became a lifeline, one that they hoped would sustain the men their families in the long run, if not for life. The majority of the clients are locals, but they also get a quite good number of both domestic and international customers at trade fairs and expos. All was well and good then until the outbreak of COVID-19, which has made the life of these women difficult as the profit and revenue margins went down. They can also not sit idle, but kept their routine intact, producing more pots and baskets to keep enough stock for once the situation returns to normal. Then came the COVID-19 pandemic, which really set back our business. Last year and this year, we did not participate in any exhibition to sell our products. So the income has dropped drastically, but we have to keep going. The project now relies on orders and some of those who would visit the site to buy their items. In 2017, Okatana Constituency Office funded the project through the Rural Employment Scheme Program to the tune of $28,000, which was used to set up a proper structure. The project also received another $38,000 through the constituency's microfinance to expand the pottery chamber. I think we need also to explore further why the young people could not be participating in this type of project uh, so that we can also encourage them to take part in this type, type of income generating project. And also, we should also extend to men. They might be other uh, men who have the skills to produce this type of products. Uh, other than the women. Tonatania Embody NBC News, Omaha Village.